Hi again. Welcome back. This is step five of the Top Solid 7, working with basic bottom-up assemblies. In this video, we're going to add a copy of the base on top of all of the elements that we've worked on thus far. But in this case, we'll use a handy Windows function called Control, Drag, and Drop to make a copy of the component. From there, we'll add the various constraints that are needed to fully constrain it. Let's see how it all works. Okay, now that we're done with that, the next thing to do is we want to take and copy the base plate here. So I'm going to hold Control, left click and hold, and drag and drop a copy. And I'm going to put a copy of this on top of everything. Again, we're doing a lot of repetition here. We're doing axis on axis mates and plane on plane mates, but all the time we've been using the constraint wizard. In this next step, I'm going to show you how to specifically choose the constraints you want to apply. They're all listed here in the icon bar or through the pull-down menu, whatever you're comfortable with. Here I'm going to go directly to axis on axis. I'm going to select this face here to that face there, just like you saw me do before. Now maybe I'll select this axis to this axis. Perfect. Finally, I'm going to go to plane on plane. Maybe I'll grab this and pull it up a little bit so I can rotate select that face, and then I'll select this face here. Like that, the part turns blue, which is, as you know, the fully constrained color within Top Solid. So this is telling me I've done all the mates I need. This also tells me that this part has no degrees of freedom left, so it will be a rigid part. Again, we get the feel. We can work with this now.